Hello everyone and welcome to this Python in Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to append multiple data frames based on filtered list. So let's get started. Now looking at our sample data set, we have this sales data for the year 2021. So we have the date and the sales and of course we have the 2022 date and sales so our goal is simple we actually want to filter the two data frame to display sales that is greater than or equal to 30,000. thereafter we're going to append the rows that satisfy this criteria using the pd.contact function without much talking let's get started now i'm going to come to cell h2 and i'm going to type in equal sign py Press the tab key and that opens the Python environment that can read our code in Excel. Now let's expand the formula bar in order to be able to write effortlessly and seamlessly. So Ctrl Shift U expands the formula bar. Now in the formula bar, I'm just going to define a variable called DF1 and that's going to hold the record for the year 2021. So I'm going to come to cell A1, Ctrl Shift, right and control shift down arrow key control backspace now we can see we have the df1 now click enter i'm going to say df2 and that's going to equal to the record for the year 2022 so come to cell d1 control shift right and down arrow key control backspace now i'm going to click enter so the next thing we want to do is to filter the first df1 to return the rows that equal to sales where the sales is greater than or equal to 30,000. so i'm going to say df1 underscore filter now this is actually a variable name and let's write this clearly now i'm going to equal to now in this case i'm going to call the data frame one df1 and open the square brackets next we want to point to the sales column within the df1 data frame so i'm going to call df1 again now, we have the innermost square brackets okay now i want to point to the sales column okay so inside the single quote i'm going to type in sales now this is case sensitive so you must type it exactly the way it is written in cell b1 so i'm just going to come here let me just get rid of this error then close the sales column now close the innermost square bracket and then we need to specify the criteria now the criteria is we want to see rows that equal to or greater than thirty thousand. in other words sales that is greater than or equal to thirty thousand. so i'm going to use the two math operators greater than or equal to operators then i'm going to specify three zero 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 now i'm going to close the outermost square bracket now this is going to be the first criteria now let's just play around and see what this is delivery i'm going to copy this i'm going to click enter control v control enter and then that's going to return the frame now let's turn into an excel value come to this you know python output and click excel values now it's going to return all the sales all the rows where the sales is equal to or greater than 30,000 for the 2021 records okay now that's working pretty fine come to the top cell i'm going to get rid of this now i'm going to repeat the same thing i'm going to just copy this control c click enter control v i'm just going to call this one um df2 filter i'm going to replace this df1 to 2 and again i'm just going to repeat the same thing df1 to 2 press the tab key and then we can even call this one let's just call it control c click enter control v control enter and then we can see this is the filtered list for the sales that is equal to or greater than thirty thousand for the year 2022 now i'm just going to get this out now the final one is going to be i'm just going to call it result is a variable anyway so equal to and i'm going to use the pd dot contact function and then i'm going to open the bracket now i actually need to stack just like this stack itself i'm going to just grab the first one control v i'm going to grab the second one control c control v now i actually want to show you something okay so i'm just for the third argument i actually want to ignore the index so i'm going to say ignore underscore index i'm going to set the true close the bracket for the pd dot contact function now i'm just going to call this result and call me control v control c now when i control enter i'm going to have this error now you can see type error first argument must be an iterable of pandas object you pass an object of type data frame now the problem is actually from this pd.concat function now i'm just going to come here to fix the problem i actually need to wrap this df1 underscore filtered comma df2 underscore filtered inside square brackets okay so i'm going to put the square bracket here i'm going to come here 
before the um, comma, put in a square bracket, and that fixes the problem, okay? So control enter, and then we can see the records, you know, on top of each other. So we'll be able to append. Now, when you scroll down, you can see we have the record for the 2022, and then and this is where the 2021 terminates, okay? And this is where the 2022 you know, start from. We can actually replicate the same thing in Excel using the Excel working function and also in SQL Server. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing right in Excel using the working function. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.